Hey Robert, how's it going? It's Hondo here, South Town Chrysler. Just kind of in the, the back of my parking lot here. Just thought I'd send you a little walk around video. Now I did give this one a little bit of a quick wash um, and I did make sure to kind of use a little bit of the air hose there so I can uh, kind of get a little bit of that water off because it's chilly today, man. It's about minus 18. Um, here she is. So this is the 21 Tacoma. This is the TRD uh, Sport. Uh, and this one does have some nice equipment, man. It does have the Toyota Safety Sense. I have worked with Toyota, by the way, Robert. So pretty familiar with these and the resale values. Uh, but this one particularly has a safety sense. So you got the automatic high beams, lane keeping assist, uh, adaptive cruise control as well, which is really nice. And all that stuff came standard. I believe it was a 19 uh, from Toyota. Now I did mention this has two sets of tires uh, and rims. So it includes the actual OEM Toyota wheels. Uh, now just so you have an idea on kind of tread on the all seasons here it's looking like it's getting a little bit closer to uh you know looking at you probably get a season out of them uh maybe season and a half but the winters themselves are really really nice these are not cheap uh they are the nokians okay and they are studded so i've been driving this thing around a lot in two-wheel drive uh just uh, just because it doesn't really even need to use the four uh so i mean there's some extra fuel savings for you now the body's in really nice shape it just needs a solid wash uh but above and beyond that like when it comes to the actual condition I just seen kind of get some angles here I, i'm not noticing any like dents or, or dings now we do have a few little chips in the front here which is pretty normal uh, given that this one didn't have some 3M, but it does have that nice TRD hood. And the tread on the winners is very, very good. I have it on the actual report as well. So you have a few of these little bug marks here, just so you know. So obviously it does need a nice little wash. You get those bug guts right off of there. But again, really clean on the outside. Nice paint color. We have this color too. It's known as our ceramic, ceramic gray. And I did notice again, even on the back here, no real dents or dinks to think about. And let's see the actual tailgate a little bit on the plastic here, a little bit of wear, a little bit on this side. Other than that though, not bad at all. And this does have the, uh, the full tow package obviously with the wiring as well. Alrighty, now back seats, nice and clean. Kind of like how they got different texture with the leather too. Does have the original mats. Now, just in case you are a smoker, this one has a very light smell of smoke. We do have solutions for that. So just say if that's something that's a really big deal breaker, uh, let me know, right? We can have this one smoke bombed or smoke bombing is what we call it. Um, and it's more heavy duty than the general ones people do. People usually will put an ozonizer in there or ozonator, uh, which will essentially just kind of, you know, throughout the night, take everything out. But I kind of like something a little bit more heavy duty that I know for a fact it's gonna be gone. So it does also, by the way, have the blind spot assist, which is really nice. One thing I wanted to confirm is this side is gonna be a manual adjustment, okay? But just so you know, again, there's no rips, no tears in the leather, just needs a nice little detail. It is chilly. Okay, driver's side. So again, you get a little bit of wear on this side, but it's not bad at all, okay? And again, no rips, no tears. Just one little, almost a little like, almost like tar or something. I just gotta take it off. It's literally just on the edge there. Uh, now this one as well, uh, does have the automatic windows in the front. Uh, you do have your box light, and then there's your automatic high beams. And then clutch start cancel. I do want to see into that because, again, when I was with Toyota, you know, finding one of these is like finding a Wrangler with a manual trans. Very, very hard to do. Um, and we never used to come across them too often. So definitely something that uh, would be a little bit of homework for me to figure out what that actual button is. Uh, this does have the leather steering wheel, sorry, 66,049 kilometers. This does have the power dimming rear view mirror. Uh, so if anyone has any super bright lights, it'll auto dim for you. Does have the sunroof, which is nice. Your SOS button for Toyota. 
Um, but in these things, I'll tell you, it, you know, it's probably been parked there the last four or five days. And we've obviously had that really, really bad cold snap. This is the one truck I was very confident will start no matter what. Because that's just kind of how these Toyotas are, right? So here's the cracked windshield. And if you notice, this one's a pretty, pretty decent crack. I mean, it's almost like it's got its own kind of hills and peaks and valleys, right? Like a little own, uh, mountain. Um, but obviously, I'll make sure that that's addressed for you if that's a really big thing. And then also, you have up to three garage doors you can program in here as well, which is really nice. Uh, and then you do have the heated seats. This one does not have the heated steering wheel, um, but it does have the heated seats and the heated side mirrors, okay? Your blind spot assist button is right there. Your power uh, uh, rear slider is gonna be right there. This does have the uh, the Q or the, the Qi wireless charging. So if you notice, all you gotta do is pop your phone right in there, you'll be good to go. And as I mentioned to you, it is in two wheel right now. So I did obviously test out the four high to make sure it works. I typically run it on two, you know, preferably on the lot, just cause we have a lot of kind of short, tight turns. And you know, sometimes you can get a little bit of hop with the four, uh, four wheel drive or, or four by four uh, in those really, really small kind of turning radiuses. So um, other than that, this does have the auto lights. I just turn them on just so you know, everything is working. Now let's see if I can do, well, I'll show you the backup camera. So there's gonna be your backup camera. But I am going to try to do a one-handed lot drive. It's got a little bit of a higher uh, clutch point. It's actually a little bit easier to, to drive this one, to be honest, being a manual. But let me see if I can kind of do this and the video. So let me turn this down. And just so you know, this had a little bit of a glue on here. I don't know if someone had like a GoPro or, or something up on there. so. Obviously just thought I'd make sure I mention that. And I mean, what can you say about tacos, man? These things are absolutely bulletproof. Very reliable. I've seen a few of these, um, a few of these in service, like the older gens when I worked at Toyota. And I'd be like, hey, what brings you in? And they're at like 220K. Um, yeah, I'm just replacing my first alternator. You know what I mean? So literally maintenance on these things is very minimal uh and again parts is available everywhere you got lots of aftermarket support on these tacos or tacomas um but again with one hand i think i'm doing pretty good for someone who doesn't drive manual all the time okay sure i'm in first gear let's pop her in a second and i mean nice and smooth i'll probably pop this back into first here just because i'm gonna be going by a very very tight spot probably get a little bit of the curb there we go now if you notice there's no like creaks and rattles no weird noises i turned the climate off just to make sure but it is a pretty stress-free drive look at that nice little little bit of the sun kicking out there it looks nice so if you notice, this is the chaos that we have on the lot right now. So we are one of the lucky stores where we have really high CSI with Dodge. So we seem to get a lot of the nice inventory. And this is one of my three lots. So I actually have two other lots where we kind of hold uh, extra F, um, uh, 1500s uh, in the new one, the used body cell. So alrighty, I'm gonna camp this one out right here. Pop this in reverse. There we go. Alrighty. But here she is, man. And I did mention I was in the game for, you know, over over a decade, right? So, I mean, I kind of grew up in the car biz. So, detailing, you know, parts front to back. I did uh, servicing. I took my stint at being an apprentice mechanic. Um, I kind of realized I don't like working on them as much as I like selling them. Branched off into sales. So all in all, I've probably been in the business about 15 years. Um, and, and I mean, at the end of the day, the one thing I can tell you, especially being a, a detailer in the past and lots and lots of detailing is again, stuff when it comes to, you know, any kind of light smoke smells or anything like that is very easy to, to rectify. Um, and again, the headliner is very clean too. So this is not one of those cases where, 
you know, you have someone chain smoking inside with the windows up. It's not that kind of smell at all, but but either way, let me know. You could be a smoker, right? So let me know, 780-932-7597. It's Hundo, South Hunk Reiser.